right, I'm back. Now I'm back to lay these baby hairs down. <laughs> it's your girl amy we here with a new video and if you're new here hey girl don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also don't forget to follow me on instagram so today is vlogging day so this vlog is going to be special because i've been waiting to do this vlog for a long time this vlog is going to consist of a high maintenance self-care type of vlog i am going to bring you guys along with me to get my lashes done wax my nails high maintenance self-care well needed much needed type of vlog and i want to bring you guys along with me and yes you guys let's just first of all if i haven't mentioned it i used to do lashes okay i used to do lashes back in line when they first became hyped which just was in like 20 2018 at school and i was like the first person to ever do them on campus and everything and everybody loved them blah, blah, blah. so t about that is yes i no longer do lashes anymore but i've never had my lashes done simply because i was always skeptical if the glue, I was going to be alerted to it because I'm my eyes are very sensitive. Well, I'm like, a, I have sensitive body in general, but I just never got them because I didn't know the adhesive was going to break me out. I was going, it was going to irritate my eyes or anything like that. So I just delayed a long time of getting mink lashes. But today is the day that I go do that. My appointment is actually today at 12 30 it is currently 11 24 so i got an hour to spare before i go not even an hour actually like 30 minutes so i can go get me something to eat because i haven't eaten um breakfast or anything like that but i want to bring you guys along i'm super excited because i've been waiting to get my lashes on i've been wanting to get them and then two i've been kind of skeptical about who I let do certain things on my face. And if they ain't looking how I want them to look, and if they don't last long, you definitely not going to get my money worth. So I'm just really like, like, you know, skeptical with people like that. I'm ready to wake up like a bad bitch. I'm ready to wake up looking cute like everybody else has been doing. I wanted to finally just say, girl, go get your lashes done. It's not going to hurt to try it and see if you like them or not. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go get us some give me some to eat. So Hello guys, I got my um beverage just so and I always got to give me a croissant. Guess what y'all? Please guess what on this shit. My appointment got moved back. Ain't that get off? How you gonna move my shit back? <sighs> I can go wash my car today. Cause this shit is atrocious. It's not that bad, but it just need to be vacuumed. Well, yeah, so while we buy some time, I'm gonna go do that. Then I'll check back in with you guys later on. I mean, she gonna move my shit, baby. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown, me, die and they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. Shorty off a fan star Just the one on the video, it's a great shot Way that I've been living, I'm conventional Good morning, y'all So it's the next day after I got my lashes done I didn't get, I didn't film last night because um, 
I told you guys my appointment got moved to 5 p.m. So once I got home, I was tired. These are the ending results of them. Um, I really do like them, but I feel like I'm allergic to the adhesive, which I feel like I am. My eyelids are sore as hell, like right here. It's not like they like pain like the eyelashes are not fine but my lids are sore i really love them and the length is how i wanted them to be not too like oh my god like way up here this length is i don't think that these are d's i think these are c's um 15s and 16s so hey y'all welcome back it's um a couple days later i told y'all it wasn't gonna be like back to back days so today is friday now first things first is um this morning my brother had surgery this morning on his arm he broke his arm tuesday at practice or drills or something like that for football he found out wednesday he broke his arm so today he had to get surgery on it because it was actually broken to it's a point where like um he couldn't move and stuff like that so he had to get surgery at five o'clock this morning so i'm a little off schedule right now and it's currently one o'clock actually just leaving my wax appointment y'all i had to rush to get here i did post some filming of where i got it done so i'm gonna post this right after i finish talking love my wax wax lady and everything like that um her name is tiffany i love her to death we always having a good conversation all the time so um my wax appointment was at 12 45 i was almost late i got there at 12 44 why i was almost late because i was asleep y'all knocked out me and my brother was knocked out on the sofa so i woke up at 11 40 y'all like 11 40 like oh, okay I'm, I'm i'm doing it i'm good girl i woke up at 12 30 punching it down damn interstate but i got here a one minute before i was sleepy i needed a nap don't judge me <laughs> now we are on the way to go and get my eyebrows threaded my lashes so far are looking really really good i'm excited that they're looking really nice and everything they're still looking full and the links that i got were 15 and 16 if i haven't already mentioned to you guys as you guys know i won't be able to kind of like show you the lady that does my brow my brows for me but i will post where i get them done i get them done at my local mall here in mobile alabama so you guys can like go check her out and the lady that does them are her name is sue um just call her sue she'll know bomb she always makes sure my brows are really really good and clean and yes i've been getting my brows threaded over the past three years i believe who i'm about to head there in a few seconds so i will talk to y'all once i either get there or once i'm done okay all right guys so i am back from getting my brows threaded um they look really good thick and nicely arched as i love them as always Sue gets me right every time with the brows. Nails done tomorrow. I was gonna get them done today, but I just don't feel like it today. Actually, I need to be calling her to see to set my appointment for in the morning because honestly, I'm not the type of person that like to get their nails done like in the evenings or afternoons. I like to get it out the way in the mornings because nine times ten, especially on a weekend or a weekday, like friday or saturday they're going to be busy so i want to get in and out i'm actually going to go back home and chill out with my brother i'm kind of thirsty but i want some water but um 
But yeah, y'all, brows look good. Lashes still looking on point. I was trying to figure out if I was going to add getting my first facial in this maintenance vlog. But I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. Because if I do, I'm going to get it done next week. I'm still excited. I'm still deciding. So don't quote me on it. If it's going to be in this video, it's going to be in this video. If it ain't, it ain't. Yeah. But um, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Okay? Period. Hey, y'all. We back. It's a new day. That is the alarm for me to put on my seatbelt. But it's going to have to wait a minute. Cute today. Like, we is cute you know a little slick black nothing none new well it's a new day today and we are currently on the way to go get these bad boys done color i'm going for is a new color well it's not it's new to me because i've never tried it never done it i don't know it just gave me weird kind of vibes but i don't know it's like a trendy color now i've been seeing a lot of people do this specific type of color and i'm like i gotta try it because i don't know i just never like thought it would be for me type shit but when i seen people with my type of color skin tone i'm like okay now it look good it look good on her the color we're going with is black so perfect time perfect season all of that so that's what I'm going with today. And I'm super excited. I'm the type of person that sleep with my fan on even when it's cold outside. That's just me. I'm going to do that. And I'm mind my business. But yeah, I'm the type of person that's going to order cold drinks when it's cold outside. Yeah, don't even, don't even ask. Okay. But I'm going to talk to y'all once I get to... You're mad, I'm back Big mad, he's mad, she's mad Big fat, ha ha Don't care, stay mad Ah ha, ah ha Ha ha, cause I'm laughing Cause you big mad, see it in your face Quack baby, but you big sad Niggas tweeting by me, got a 20, but you big sad Tell me how I'm ready, came home To a big bag I'm stupid, I'm dumb, huh Play me like a dummy, like bitch Are you drunk, are you dumb, stupid, I'm dumb I'm supposed to be going to with my mom. We're supposed to be going to go um, to the store, do some errands or whatever. And yeah, so that's that. But I am now about to give me something to eat. And I feel like this man looking at me. So yeah. Hey y'all, it's a new day. 
it's like four o'clock in the morning uh, it's five o'clock in the morning and i just that's why i'm like drenched i just washed my hair <sighs> it's been a couple of days later seriously a couple of days later and i'm showing up today Yo, i like my british accent <laughs> I like my British accent. I'm about to twist up my hair because I'm putting on my wig that I did for you guys. I can't wait. And I'm gonna do it on camera with you guys. So let's get into it. So I've been using this new leave-in moisturizer by, I, tr I'm, I was trying it out just to see if I like it and I love it. It's moisturizing. It's creamy it's give it what's supposed to give you know and it's this camille rose curl love rice milk and macadamia oil oh my god and it smells so freaking lovely period a little bit goes a long way seriously it's been a long moment since we talked and i missed you guys but yeah, I just section my hair off and I just put it all over, put it all over my hair. Like it's, when I tell y'all, it smells so good and it hyd keeps my hair hydrated very, very good. And it, it, it really does enhance my curls a lot and I love it so like it's for real it's so yummy it smells like a cookie and then I'm gonna go with my hair milk uh, by Carol's daughter I've been using this since I've kind of became an natural but it was like an on and off thing and putting a little bit of that in my hand and all over it just gives my hair a very good slip and like this you don't need a lot of this in either so the other thing i use um well been using since i became natural is the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie i use this when i'm about to twist up my hair or when i'm defining my curls whatever and I two other utensils and fit a section off my hair because I'm gonna twist my hair now I'm about to take my dimming brush so I can thoroughly comb it out and make sure I can twist my hair and y'all see that really long I just cannot stand shrinkage like you trying to trick a sister that her hair short but it ain't don't play twisting my hair for my wig <clears throat> okay so now i'm about to clean off my dresser because it's a mess i'm to let this dry a little bit because i don't i never just throw on my wigs unless like i'm finna go somewhere but i'm not going anywhere i'm just filming this last part of this high maintenance vlog because I need to stop procrastinating. Well, I've been dying to put this wig on anyway. And I knew I wanted to just put it on because I'm tired of kind of wearing my real hair for a while. Given real, sexy, classy, boss woman. Yeah, but y'all, I've been doing nothing with my wife. Like, I really got to stop with the laziness as y'all have seen i haven't really been posting on youtube 
I don't know. I've just been in a very, like, funk, lazy vibe. Like, I don't know. Like, this type of mindset now is just, like, when I told you I was I was coming back, I, was, I really meant that. But I don't know. I've just been, like, lazy. Like, I haven't been wanting to do nothing. One, my life is boring. Honestly, I don't do much at home like i don't do i don't go places i'm not like an outgoing person so it's really nothing to kind of like vlog or you know post i'm just fluffing up my my lashes it's because as y'all know that my channel consists of any and everything that i want to do in my life right i kind of like first started posting i've kind of focus a lot on doing my makeup didn't want to get into that bubble of having my channel focus on one industry or one thing not what all things amy is is about everything that i know how to do what i want to show anything that i want to show as far as my life and my creative side i noticed that that's a lot on my channel is makeup stuff I'm more of a vlogging person i like to move around i like to show you all different things i like to do hair tutorials i like to do makeup tutorials i like to show me being goofy showing me being funny my personality like i never wanted to be subjected to one thing and that's kind of why i kind of deviated from doing a lot of makeup tutorials even don't get me wrong i love doing makeup my makeup and whatever. I made a Word document of all of YouTube videos and all of them consist of makeup tutorials. I don't wanna just be subjected to just makeup tutorials. I love them, but I don't want to be known as, oh, she does a makeup, but I wanna be known as Amy, me. Oh, she know how to do this, she know how to do that. That girl is smart, that girl is creative, that girl is fun, goofy. I want to be known as that. I enjoy vlogging. I enjoy doing my hair tutorials. I enjoy talking, like having girl talks and chit chats. I like doing all of that. Like, yeah, while doing my makeup, not just solely makeup tutorial. Because honestly, it takes a lot of product. It takes a lot of time to do my makeup. And I'm a precise person, so I ha I like my makeup to look a certain way. So I just was like, no, I don't want to deviate just from just that, you know? There's another reason why I've been kind of in a funk of posting because I've been like, I have, now I do have to do this one video, this makeup tutorial because it's dealing with fall and I want to push that out before the end of the year. But I've just been on the like, path of like i just want to do me i just want to have fun i want to do this i want to do that giving you content once a week and then that was another thing i told you guys like i was when i first started my channel i was really like push 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 work hard do this do this do that but i wasn't like giving myself a break you know and i was just like oh my god like girl i realized i have over 50 videos already and i haven't even been a year in YouTube. So mind you, I still have a lot of months to go when I'm when I know that I want to be up a lot of videos. I just know I'm hard on myself. I get that. But I need to stop being so hard on myself. But because I want to go, I want these goals to be pushed. But at the same time, I have to do what's best for me. And right now I feel like my decision is vlogging and giving you creativeness and showing you all of me not just a partial so i'm trying to get back on track you guys so bear with me and i know it's going to happen um but yeah i'm just going to do that so i won't be stuck in a box but um i hope you guys understand so i'm going to let my hair dry and I'm going to, and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys once it's time to put on my wig so I can finish this vlog off, okay? Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just put on my ball head cap. 
Yes, it's not all fancy smashy right now. But I'm going to um put a little bit back on him. This is the wig I'm putting on my bob wig. And um I'm just gonna put some extra makeup on the fronting of this. So it can give that, you know, like scalp look. <clears throat> but yeah. And that's really it, y'all. But um <laughs> now we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna plug up my hot comb because I'm gonna need it. I added a elastic band to it so it can feel a little bit tighter. And then I'm just gonna put it on like that. Slide this down like that. I'm gonna speed this process up a little bit because I've kind of like shown y'all how exactly how I put my wigs on. So it's like nothing like, oh my God, like new, honestly. But I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure it's on how I want it to be before I like melt it down. Like, seriously? Melt it down? Oh, these are going to be my baby hairs. <laughs> these are going to be my baby hairs. That's why it looks crazy right now. But hold on, y'all. I'm going to be back. I'm going to tweeze this a little bit more and then I'm going to come back on here and talk. So. baby hairs down <laughs> with my beautiful holy grail mousse <laughs> and then i'm going to lay these these edges this lace down properly in a couple of minutes i don't know about y'all but i love a british accent like that is the sexiest accent ever. Seriously. Seriously. Super duper sexy. Like. It's like, I'm not gonna lie. It's the hardest, ooh, it's the hardest to lay baby hair, baby hairs down on a bob simply because, well, a closure wig. Let me just say that. Simply because, you know, you have this excess hair right here, right? And you want it to look kind of good. Let's just say that. It's and I need to pluck a lot of this out because I don't like it. It's too much. It's too thick, you know? This one too. Because the baby hair is supposed to flow, you know what I mean? Like it's supposed to flow with the flu. Go with the flu. I might... 
Look at that. Beautiful. Better. Just I tell you. Really, really changeful. Simply because I'm a perfectionist, like I said. And I like things to look a certain way. Not too much, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want it to go a certain way. Not too much because we want to leave the volume there. All right, now let's hot comb. So it's time to take this off now. It's been a couple minutes, more like probably like three. It's giving very much, very much boss classy about her business. Don't play with me. Don't play with me in this hair. Don't. Don't play with me. Period, boo. That's it for this vlog, y'all. I hope you guys enjoy watching me get uh, prepared, pampered. You know, a little enhancement to myself. I love a good self-care. Like, a self-care is everything to me. And I wanted to bring you guys along with my pampering. You know, I consider this type maintenance because a lot of these things I really don't do on a day-to-day -day basis. But, of course, you got to, you know, treat yourself a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoy watching me. Stay tuned for more videos. And comment down below on what else you want to see from me. And I'm a you know, give what's supposed to be given. But anywho, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace.